Welcome to Amersham. Amersham is a proper town, not a suburb. Well, two towns actually. Old Amersham over there, set in the valley of the River Misborn. And Amersham on the hill, here. This latter one grew up in the early 20th century around the Metropolitan Railway Station. The station opened in 1892 as part of an extension from Chalfont Road Station, which is now Chalfont and Latimer Station, to Aylesbury. And we're 23 miles from Charing Cross. So let's take a quick look around Amersham on the Hill. It's a classic suburb, albeit with a train. But let's face it, this could be anywhere in the London area. But it's got things like this. This is High and Over, a house designed for the head of classical sculpture at the British Museum. And there's lovely stuff like this. So let's start our walk back at the station. Since this will involve a lot of countryside walking, some maps might be useful. No, a better one than that. This sort of thing. We'll begin at Amersham Station, marked with a big red blob, and then first of all, drop into Verdant Parsonage Wood. I call this part of the walk my Speed It Up section. The Metropolitan Railway used to travel a lot further into rural Buckinghamshire than Amersham. Services, until the 1930s, continued to brill which was 45 miles from Charing Cross, and to Verney Junction, which is over 50 miles away. But not now. The London Underground terminates here, in the far northwest of its network. But enough of my jabber. Let's enjoy Parsonage Wood. Blimey. Wow. Would you just look at that? It's a Metroland poster. Come to life. That view down there is the imagined rural idyll. To where the Metrolanders flocked. I don't know, for as long as I can remember, I've been attracted to the time just prior to the First World War, the Edwardian era. Long ago, as a child, I imagined myself wandering the countryside back then. Once I discovered old Ordnance Survey maps online, I started to imagine myself in the fields and farms around London and Middlesex, before the suburbs swept everything away. So much so that I created my own website just for this purpose, so that I could look at the way things were. The Metropolitan Railway lured people to move to what the railway advert posters called Metroland. People were shown images of an environment like Old Amersham here. This is how they imagined their chosen suburb would continue to look like after they'd moved. Country vicars on bicycles, green hills. They were cruelly let down, as their new neighbours had exactly the same idea. All that greenery would soon be, after they moved here, buried under housing. 
We're going to go that away straight ahead in due course. But first, since we're here, I'll take you into Old Amersham itself, as I want to show you some of the amazing old photos of a man called George Ward. George Ward is perhaps the best known documenter of Amersham. He took his photos between 1880 and 1930, most of them within a few hundred yards distant of Market Square. Hundreds of photos from one location, and you can view them all in the local Amersham Museum. Some of the movie Four Weddings and a Funeral was shot in the Crown Hotel here. That bedroom scene with Hugh Grant and Andy McDowell was filmed in Room 101. Speaking of which, George Orwell mentioned Amersham in his epic 1984. Some very distinctive gravestones in St Mary's Churchyard here. Local vernacular I guess, but I'd love to know why they're quite like this. George Ward was quite a guy, an entrepreneur and inventor as well as a photographer. This QR code will take you to a video of more of his photos. If you want to watch the rest of this video first, I'll fling a link in the video description of this one. So Amersham, Amersham Amersham, what are you all about then? The town dates from before the Doomsday Book. And from 1625 until 1832, Amersham sent two MPs to the House of Commons and was classified as a rotten borough. This is where MPs could buy their place in Parliament. Ruth Ellis, the last woman hanged in Britain, is buried here. But more cheerfully, Bill Pertwee from Dad's Army was born here. Upcoming is the bottom of Station Road, which we left earlier to amble in the woods. The station became the last outpost of the Metropolitan Line in 1960, when the tracks from Rickmansworth to Amersham were electrified as far as here but no further. But you can still travel further to Aylesbury on Network Rail, just not the London Underground. We're just cutting off a corner here to avoid as much as possible a temporary bit of traffic hell. And this is the aforementioned traffic hell.
but we can now take a hike away from all this.
And here we are on the final tranche towards Chalfont and Latimer station. Still some quite attractive Metroland developments. Little Chalfont is the location of the station. It's one of those London Underground stations which aren't named for the area like Latimer Road. I approve of this place. Quiz night as well. Maybe another time. <laughs> 